Okay, welcome to the webinar. So we'll go through uh, the basics in Bookmap, what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and then uh, jump into the order flow and uh, uh, how to uh, utilize uh, what you're looking at in Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, uh, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. More information, go to bookmap.com, become a member there, and you'll have access to free resources, and then reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, if you want to try Bookmap, go to bookmap.com. Uh, you can uh, register, as you can see on the homepage here. Uh, you can explore, uh, go into the members portal here, and then um, uh, on Friday I'll have a new webinar link here so that uh, you can uh, register for uh, next week's webinar. Okay. So let's explore and uh, we'll go to pricing tab and this is where you can find book map. Okay. So are there any new, new traders out there uh, in the, uh, in the room today? I know uh, John, uh, you are new uh, this week. Uh, welcome. And uh, a few others uh, here. Uh, Yonel, I think as well. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, uh, and a few others here, I think, uh, uh, new to CL, Muhammad, uh, I think Digby as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome guys. Um, any, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is really uh, your chance, uh, to, uh, you know, get into some of the specifics and uh, I can, I can help out here in the live market and, uh, and cover these things in detail for you. And, uh, it helps everyone else as well. So, uh, you know, just uh, ask away uh, and, uh, uh, you know, don't don't be shy here. Um, so you get a 14 day trial period with Bookmap. Uh, this is where you can find it. There are two versions, the basic and the advanced. Uh, you can see 49 and 99 per month. They are billed quarterly, uh, but you get that 14 day trial period for each of them. OK, and the difference between the two are the add ons okay? and the ability to trade right from the chart. And that's that's a huge one. OK, and then all these other add ons here. All right. Uh, and then uh, we do have uh, uh, we do offer um, a package deal here with DX feed and DX feed. Uh, you know, we're not a data provider, uh, but DX feed allows you to access uh, U.S. equities with NASDAQ total view. And we've just bundled it here with the basic and the advanced. Uh, same as over here. It's just uh, basic and advanced with the DX feed. All right. You get the same 14 day trial period. So this is more for the equities guys. Uh, if you have the basic and advanced right now and you want access to US equities, well then you can add DX feed to the basic or advanced. All right, uh, the user portal. So once you become a member, uh, you can come here. There are uh, videos in the features uh, tab here that go through all the different components. Uh, the education tab here, there's all sorts of videos here as well. They all lead to our YouTube page. So you can subscribe here to our YouTube page. Uh, and uh, I just um, uh, edited this a little bit so you can see that um, uh, have the uh, features and components videos all here in a playlist. Uh, go scroll down a little bit further. There's a playlist here for all the order flow uh, video snippets. Okay, these are very short, concise videos and I highly recommend watching these uh, that go through phenomena like flip of the book or absorption and exhaustion. Okay. They're very short though. Uh, and, uh, and then one, uh, one down here, you see the playlist for our new educational course uh, parts one through four. Okay. So you can click on each one here or you can click on the link here. Uh, that'll take you to the entire YouTube um, a playlist for educational course or video snippets. A little further down, we have a trader here, a well-known trader, uh, Futures Trader 71, Morad Askar, uh, and we have webinars with him. So if you want to watch and see how he integrates Bookmap into his trading. Okay. And then uh, you can also follow us on Twitter here as soon as it loads. And this, you will get the most up-to-date information here, as well as retweets from other Bookmap users. Okay. So I'm not sure why that's not loading. There we go. Okay. All right. And uh, let's see here. Okay, Mohammed, uh, you are doing the uh, Top Step Trader Combine. Okay. Well, ask away. Uh, Bookmap will really help you pinpoint um, a lot of different things in there. 
for uh, uh, entries and exits and trade management. And good luck with that, uh, Mohammed. Let's see, Scott, you're puzzled about the trading from the chart. Um, okay, so the way it works. Okay, so we're not a data provider, um, but um, uh, you will need a, um, uh, a broker or data provider that uh, Bookmap supports. Okay, so you can uh, click on connectivity here. Okay, and that'll take you here. Just scroll right up. And you can see the uh, different uh, various supported uh, data feeds and brokers here. So uh, stage five has uh, OEC data. Uh, is They offer many different types of data. Okay, they also have CQG. They also have Rhythmic. They also have gain uh, OEC data. Uh, data. Uh, basically anything that you want to get, you can get it uh, there uh, at stage five. Uh, and um, uh, and you can see some of the others here, IQ feed, transact futures, uh, Ninja Trader 7 and 8, uh, interactive brokers. Uh, the dev experts here, this is your, your uh, DX, um, DX feed, right? Uh, we have Rhythmic. Uh, we also uh, connect through the API of Trading Technologies. Trade of eight, and then the NASDAQ is the total view that uh, you get through uh, Dev Experts. Okay, so Scott, yeah, there you go. So you have Ninja Trader, so you can connect directly through your, your Ninja Trader. Okay, uh, you know, it, it, it is cleaner, uh, to be honest, if you can go directly, like let's say you have Rhythmic, for example, uh, you can power uh, two different um, platforms with Rhythmic. Um, so you can, you know, power your Ninja Trader, and then you can also power directly uh, Bookmap using Rhythmic. So um, the um, it's up to you, uh, but uh, then you don't have to go through the API uh, of Ninja. All right, so you get to bypass that, um, and you'll probably get a, a little bit more enhanced uh, performance. Uh, who do you use for the Canadians, Yonel? Um, well, I mean, uh, they're all excellent. Okay, uh, we uh, we do like the rhythmic. Uh, it um, at sub second levels, uh, it's a little cleaner. Okay. Uh, yeah, Scott, your 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 Ninja Trader live? Um, absolutely. I mean, we connect through the API in uh, in Ninja. Okay. So you as so if you can you can understand that like your data feed. Okay, you, you're probably getting it through Ninja Trader uh, CQG. I imagine uh, your CQG feed is feeding into your Ninja, uh, and then it's outputting to um, to book map, right? Whereas, you know, what you could do, uh, is, um, uh, you can have CQG just go directly to book map like it does to Ninja Trader. Okay. We're a platform just like Ninja. Okay. We're not, we're not an add on. We're not a, uh, uh, an indicator. Uh, we, we are, we are a platform. Ah, okay. So rhythmic through, uh, through Ninja. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, that'll work too. Okay. If you can uh, try, um, maybe talk to uh, stop top step and uh, uh, see if you can get a dedicated line just for your um, uh, for your book map. Anyway, uh, let's move on uh, and uh, let's take a look here uh, at the markets and look at book map. And um, we had uh, well, you know, it's been interesting watching oil. Uh, I haven't. I've, I've noticed it. Um, you know, noted it the, all this week here. Uh, I, I didn't. I didn't really mention anything, but we have really high liquidity here in the uh, oil market in crude, uh, and uh, this is, you know, more like the ES. Uh, you know, as, as you can see, we're we're up in the thousands here. That is very rare to see. Uh, I mean, there's a lot going on in oil right now. Uh, we had OPEC uh, meetings. We had the inventories, uh, and um, you know we're flirting with some uh, some higher levels in the Brent crude uh, up around the 50 level. So uh, uh, anyway, there's there's a lot of things uh, you know going on here in crude. Um, the uh, uh, and uh, and also it's the summertime. Okay, so some of the stock indexes they start to slow down and and more speculation is uh, you'll find in uh, uh, you know more uh, volatile markets like like crude. 
Okay. So, um, or gold or something like that. So you can see the liquidity here is it's a lot higher than usual. All right. So just wanted to, uh, to note that. Um, and, um, so we'll take a look at crude, uh, jump over to the ES and see what's going on here. And you see, we're just kind of going in, you know, in a, in a pretty small range here. Plus, uh, at 2 PM, we have the FOMC. Okay. So not, not, uh, not having a lot of expectations for, uh, uh, the ES at the moment. All right. So, uh, look at something that uh, moves a little bit more here. Okay. Um, all right. So what is Bookmap showing you? All right. So we'll start with the basics here and, uh, and then we'll get into what's going on right now. We can see a flip of the book right here. Uh, notice the high liquidity here, the breakout, and then they flip from the offer over to the bid side and see, see the high liquidity here and look how it was tested and, uh, and it bounced. Okay, this is one of those phenomena uh, you'll see again and again. All right, so we are now trading in a new range, okay, at 48.30 and above. All right, uh, this is just uh, one insight, one small, very, very visual, uh, simple uh, uh, phenomena to point out in Bookmap, uh, and uh, we'll get into some more details here too, okay. And uh, this, this, this is all covered as well in that uh, education uh, course. So sweep of the book, okay. Uh, to understand the, just the basic mechanics of what a sweep is, uh, and then um, uh, just taking all the liquidity at each level okay, and trading through. And now we're up above all of this volume over here, and, uh, and then they flip. Uh, high liquidity here on the offer flips over to the bid, and we are now in a new range. And look, at we're coming up and testing high liquidity here, 48.50. Right? Another little sweep right here out of this range. Okay, it's it's you know uh, inevitable. We're going to be testing 48.50. Okay, very high liquidity here though. I mean, it's obviously the round number, uh, but um, uh, and you can see kind of a flip here. <laughs> but uh, look, looking very poised to uh, to test into some of that high liquidity here. All right, and we'll see. I mean, maybe maybe uh, maybe we'll, we'll we'll need a couple of rotations to get up in there. All right, uh, but um, anyway, that's what's going on. Let's uh, uh, take a step back before I get too detailed here, uh, and then we're going to uh, just simplify this uh, and uh, look at um, the basics, what Bookmap is showing you, uh, and uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, uh, here's our five-minute chart. Okay, here's our oil inventories at uh, at 10:30. Okay, and it'll be good to, to cover the uh, fundamental release uh, so you guys can see how liquidity. Um, uh, functions uh, in a fundamental release, okay, in an economics uh, number, uh, and um, uh, you know it, it just uh, it gives a better example of uh, really how these markets operate, you know. Uh, and uh, anyway, so we can see the candles here. Candlestick chart though is uh, you know we have a volume sub chart. Uh, it's giving us pretty good information here, uh, but uh, there's so much that we are missing. Right, uh, we have no idea where the market really is trading here, okay, and that's a problem. Uh, I mean, we do have the volume here, as you can see in the subchart. We don't know what type it is. Uh, we don't know uh, how much uh, exactly traded within a specific time frame, uh, where it traded on the candlestick in this time period, uh, and then um, uh, uh, what type of uh, volume transacted. Was it aggressor buy or sell? Okay, so let's start to turn on some of the levels uh, of data here, and we'll just uh, add the historical best bid and offer. Okay, so this little move, quick move down, and then kind of a retest here, and then a move back up. Uh, you would have seen it in the candle in real time, but at the close of this candle, that data is lost, and that's a problem. Okay, so just adding historical best bid and offer already helps. All right, but now let's add the volume dots. Okay, now, and uh, volume dots are going to be a little subdued due to the fundamental release. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. All right. Okay, so now, yeah, let's get here. All right. And I will need to turn up those dots a little bit. Okay. We're starting to get a much better insight. What occurred within this five-minute period? Okay, and this is just looking at the volume. Uh, I'm sorry, five-minute period started here and ended here. 
right? We can zoom in maybe a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this candlestick here represents this price activity. Okay, but look at the volume that the most of the volume traded down here at this low. Okay, big volume dots. We see the sweep of the book down through uh, the, this area into uh, 4805, uh, and then uh, uh, it kind of floats back up, and some some of the aggressor um, right in this area here, uh, they start to jump in. All right, so um, uh, we can see now some detail here. Uh, your footprint chart is good. Uh, you know, it, you'll get the 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 data where all of this uh, traded, uh, but there's a problem with that. And the problem is that it, it will aggregate this data. Okay, you won't see some of the subtle details here. You won't you won't see this little this little sweep up here. We're in a new level here. Okay, and uh, this is microstructural, but it holds. Uh, it always holds. Uh, in, in it holds true at least uh, in the analogy that uh, we swept up above and uh, look at the little retest down here. Look at the volume that traded down here. Okay, uh, nothing or very little. This is exhausting out. There is no interest in selling or for sellers to hit the bid any longer. Okay, so we start to rotate back up and then we have the release at 1030. Okay, so uh, now we're getting a lot more insight to what occurred within this five minute period and that's just by looking at the volume. But the, the volume is good, uh, but there's so much more going on. Uh, what about the auction? Uh, what about the dome? Uh, you know, the, the current state of that market. Uh, here's our dome and book map. You can see the, um, well, we've got a widened spread here. Uh, we can see the liquidity on the uh, offer, liquidity on the bid, and our best bid and offer right here. Okay, so um, uh, these are limit orders uh, in the order book uh, resting at these levels. It's liquidity that you know, traders want to trade at these specific price levels with uh, there's many this many contracts at these price levels. Okay, those numbers change all the time. Okay, this gives a really good insight to what's the current state of the auction and the market, uh, and that's helpful. Uh, but the, there's a problem here with this, and this data here uh, is is not giving us uh, insight to what previously just occurred. So we uh, it's lost. As soon as these numbers update, that previous information is gone. Okay, so uh, you're going to have to remember, you're going to have to watch these numbers and they flash by pretty quickly uh, and you're going to have to understand how that auction started to unfold in some of these areas. Okay, and uh, remember the interest that, that occurred there, right? Now with Bookmap, uh, we solve that problem. Okay? And let me turn on the heat map. Okay, and the way we solve it is with the uh, this heat map scale here. Okay. Uh, we're um, we're showing the uh, the grayscale, uh, and um, let me go to the current market uh, to show you exactly what this is. Okay, so here's our current market window. Okay, this is our our current best bid and offer, and our last traded volume is this number. Okay, you can see the current candlestick is forming right now. Okay, well the heat map within this uh, vertical window uh, is showing the areas of very high liquidity with a white bar. Okay, 1,400 contracts up here, almost 15, right? Or just just was. Um, and then uh, you know, and then on the on the bid side, uh, well, we have 300 here, and we have uh, 1,400 down here. Okay, now you can uh, play around with some of the uh, heat map settings here if you want to see some of the details. Uh, so um, uh, you know, it's uh, it's really up to you uh, what uh, you know what you want to see, uh, but uh, uh, you know, you can start to filter that. Anyway, this is a graphical representation of the liquidity in the book. So we very quickly understand in this window here, uh, just with the graphical representation, uh, where the liquidity is. Okay, immediately, high liquidity. It's all, it's just uh, uncovered here with the heat map. Now where it gets interesting is, is this is all recorded. Okay, and it's transposed onto the chart here. So this looks like it's really complex but it's actually really straightforward. It's just the, the evolution of the of the dome here, historical evolution of it, where they were bidding and offering, okay? And uh, w where on the chart, okay? So we can see that they were very aggressive right here. We, w we witnessed that, right? Uh, and um, 
they uh, they were very close to price with high liquidity. Okay, and we can see that uh, price the the sellers did not take them on. They they had no interest. And instead, we found buyers. Uh, we charged up into this liquidity up in, into this area here. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, now we can start to uh, utilize this dome data. Okay, that fleeting data that uh, is here in in the book for a moment, uh, and then it's gone. Okay, but now we have reference. This is how it unfolded. Okay, we can see the interest here at 48.50. Okay, and they're staying in the book. Okay, now we're starting to draw conclusions and, and put context onto this auction. Okay, and we're starting to uh, consume and digest this data here. Okay, uh, by putting it into the context, these guys want to trade up here at 48.50. They're staying in the book. Okay. Areas around it. Look how look how they're uh, even getting more aggressive. They're uh, uh, lowering uh, their uh, um, liquidity in some of these areas. So um, uh, you know they're trying to get uh, they're front running some of that high liquidity at the figure here, or the half figure. Okay. Uh, and um, so there's interest here to trade on the sell side. If uh, buyers want to uh, to take them on. Uh, you know, th this is where they can, uh, they, they can get filled here. They can find sellers. All right. That's just how the market works. Okay. What about on the bid side? Uh, you know, 4830, uh, that area where we broke from. Okay. Our flip of the book, ring a bell. Okay. Here it is here. Okay. And that is the trading range that we are in right now. Okay. So now we can start to put these pieces together. Uh, and it's pretty simple. Uh, you know, we're, it's not that uh, complex here uh, to understand uh, how to start to utilize this data here. Okay, now we're testing our 4850 uh, right in, right into it here. Okay, just test, test it into it a, a few ticks. Okay, uh, 173 contracts traded here so far, uh, and you can see uh, exactly what unfolded here. Okay, and they stayed in the book. Okay. All right, so we thought we were going to get our test of 48.50. We finally did. It took another couple of rotations, right? But uh, finally got up there, uh, and we can judge this. Yeah, they're interested. You know, they're interested in selling. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's let's take off the um, the candles, uh, and let's put on the uh, indicators as well. Right. And let's get into some of the finer details now. Okay, so some of the add-ons that we have. Okay, this number that you see here, uh, this is our iceberg detector. Okay, uh, you can see 139 contracts traded here that were not in the limit order book at that time. Okay, so that's an iceberg order or hidden order. If something's uh, not shown in the book but trades, it's got to be, uh, uh, you know. A hidden order, or it's it basically to be more precise, it's just it's liquidity that traded that wasn't in the limit order book. Okay, uh, so um, uh, anyway, okay, here comes our retest, uh, 4850, and uh, let's watch this in detail here as this unfolds. Okay, so notice how they just pulled. Okay, some of it traded here, and now we're starting to gauge the intent of these traders. Okay. Now the bulls have it if they if they want if they want to lift that offer really quickly we're going to look and see we're probably going to see some uh, uh, some very very aggressive uh, uh, buying here. Okay. Let's see if we get uh, get that breakout here. Okay. And I want to see a, a, a flip here or not a flip necessarily but a um, uh, uh, more aggression on the um, uh, on the buy side here. Okay. So lifting uh, or you know bringing that offer up here, be more aggressive with it. Okay. Wow, that was really meager. Um, I, I had uh, I was starting to anticipate uh, to 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 come up and test a higher liquidity here. Okay, but we did not. Okay, and we're gonna we'll get a retest here. Okay, and let's uh, let's see. Okay, here comes our retest. So another rotation. Okay, and here we go. Now let's see, initiated buying is what we're looking for here. Okay, big green dots pulling the market up.
Now they're hesitant. This is, it's, it's funny. Like, you know, as more liquid, <laughs> it's, it's really kind of odd. Uh, as more liquidity comes into the oil market, it's behave, it's starting to behave like the ES, uh, you, you know, uh, higher liquidity here and, and you, you get, you get a few more rotations before you get to some of these breakouts. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, you know, it, it defeats the whole purpose of uh, jumping into these uh, less liquid markets and all of a sudden they become more liquid uh, and we're back to behaving like from the market that you were escaping from to find more volatility. Um, anyway, um, uh, that uh, I, we I mean, we did get a breakout, you know, we, we broke through a little bit, very meager uh, lack of lack of aggressive buying here. Uh, but um uh, you know, if uh, if that's going to be the case here and maybe we're starting to exhaust out right here, well, the sellers can take control if they like. OK. And where are they going to go? I would start to look for this 4830. OK. Maybe before that down here, maybe they'll scoop it up for a deal down at this area okay, around this uh, uh, 4838 uh, or so. OK. But uh, looking at the transactions, I see more aggressive trading now. Com compare these two areas here to this area here where we just saw the, the meager breakout. Okay. So, um, okay, we're going to get our retest here. Um, you know, it's there. I mean, uh, now this can flip very quickly, uh, but there's less buying interest here than there was here. Okay. We were looking for big green dots. Okay, and uh, and we got some, but we didn't get uh, we didn't get like we did over here, right? So maybe the buyers are starting to exhaust out here. Okay, here's our retest right here. Okay, that that's not uh, that doesn't look good, right? Um, you know, we we want to see much more uh, much more buying here. Okay, so this this the setup is here. Uh, it, now we, we're looking for red dots, uh, and um, uh, let's see if we get that. Okay, more aggressive uh, maybe on the sell side here. Okay, now what about this previous little uh, swing down here? Okay, I, I'm not. I don't have any insight here on that. Like I'm look. I would want to see some more selling here actually before I would start to anticipate the move down uh, to this 48.30 level. Okay, and we didn't really get that here. Well, we need to see some. We need to see it initiate, uh, and uh, maybe, maybe we'll get we'll see it here. Let's let's take a look. Okay, and that will be that would be then a shift in the order flow. Okay, and we didn't really get it, right? I want to see I want to see more red in these little areas here first. We see volume in that area, but the ki what kind of volume is it? Okay. This this here was more more buying, so we're still seeing buyers here. So this is uh, is kind of um, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, we're we're looking at the action just going sideways here, at the moment. Okay, for that shift uh, that we're looking for, uh, we need to see more uh, selling at the at the lower areas, and we need to see um, it has to be selling. Okay, red dots. Okay. And right now it's it's a kind of a mix between the two, and that's why we are going sideways. Okay. In fact, uh, yeah, it's it's. I mean, there's still a little more buying. I would say, you know, uh, you can see we had some buying here, and still some here. So it still has a, a kind of a bullish slant to it, you know, by looking at the transactions. What about the liquidity? What is it telling us? Well, buyers are starting to step up here. Okay. All right. Here's the algo working price. Okay. But uh, where where are the where are the aggressive buyers? That's what we're looking for. And we're not getting them right now. Okay. Any questions on this? We're, we're uh, you know putting this together uh, you know in the live market here. Looking for a clear opportunity, and we we don't we know what we're looking for, but we're not seeing it. Okay. So.
So uh, then that that uh, that means uh, you know stay stay out. Uh, and in fact, you know what um, these uh, I can bring you back to uh, a good reference here. Okay, and that's uh, on our YouTube page. If you if you scroll down here, these video snippets. Okay, these will give you a good reference of what to look for. Okay, uh, that phenomena in the book uh, and in the in the uh, in the tape. Okay, so uh, watch some of these, and you can put this together. Right, and uh, okay, so now we're starting to see some trading down here at this swing. Right. Okay. So maybe, uh, and we're seeing some more selling here. Okay. See this cluster. Right. And um, uh, so now there's an opportunity. Let's look at look at the retests here. Okay. Uh, up on, on some of these swings at our 48.50 figure. Right. So there's a, there's a, a lack of aggressive buying here. We have some more selling starting to take place down here. Okay. We can get another rotation and we can get price discovery further uh, to the downside here. Okay. I, I would still like to see more red. I mean, we see, we see a nice little cluster here, uh, but there's still, I mean, there's still buyers in here as well. And that's why we're rotating back up. Okay. And also high liquidity here too. It's being, it's aggressive. So we are trading between this uh, range here of 48.55 and, uh, and 42. Okay. So we're starting to see it. Okay. Uh, but, uh, uh it's not enough. Uh, not yet, but this is what we're looking, this kind of behavior here is what we were looking for over here. All right. Okay. Now we're, we're trading to the other side of the range and now we're seeing the opposite here. Okay. So look at the buying starting to come in here. All right. Okay. So, um, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just back and forth. Okay. I mean, now the bulls have the opportunity to, for price discovery to the upside right here. All right. Now, if we rotate back down again, uh, then I would be looking for, um, uh, that price discovery to the downside. Let's see if we can get it but right now. We're just, uh, it's, it's in the range. Okay, so this is uh, this is pretty classic range-bound activity. In fact, um, uh, you know it can be very uh, tricky uh, trading in these ranges. Uh, we have um, uh, little areas that uh, you know they look like they're they're going to break down. Um, you know they go below these swings uh, and then they reverse right back into the range. Uh, if this rejects on one side of the range, there's like a percentage. It's over 80 or around 80 that it will it will. Uh, come and test the opposite side of the range, which is exactly what this did. Uh, so uh, you can, you know, start to uh, to look for that kind of behavior. Um, and um, okay, well, there was a kind of a in a microstructural area here. There were buyers that started to step in right here, right at this area. Okay, so let's see if they start to jump right back in. Okay. And if they do, then we're then we'll probably get our uh, uh, price discovery to the upside. Okay, because this is where they started to initiate here. Okay, and here they come. Okay. Okay. Let's see them show up, and then we'll 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 test the high liquidity here at 55. Okay. Do you guys see that? Can you see that? This is for those newer traders now. This this is this is giving us this gave us something to go on here. Right here. Okay. And uh, we were going back and forth looking for something and and now we finally found it and now we got our test. Okay? Does that do you guys understand that if you have any questions on that? Okay. So in these areas here, we were looking for things. They just didn't, they just didn't show. Okay. Here's where we saw uh, something and we had exhaustion or kind of exhaustion here in that area. And then here, as soon as this started to occur, 
It's like, okay, we're going to come up and we're going to test 55. And we got our price discovery here. Now, uh, let's zoom out and get another picture here. Okay, so, you know, a lot of aggressive trading to the upside here. I'm looking for price discovery to, to extend. Okay, and let's see it. Let's see the aggressive buying. Okay, some some uh, volume starting to trade up here. Uh, liquidity uh, targets, you know, we're looking for those that targeting of that high liquidity uh, on the bid. Okay, so we got to we got to chop through uh, uh, 60 here, but they're starting to pull some. Okay, and uh, high liquidity is up at here at 66, 48.66. Okay, here they're starting to maybe flip. Uh, maybe we'll start to see. Uh, uh, high liquidity here. Um, buyers want to uh, uh, start to define the uh, trading range around uh, the, this half figure. Okay. This is another phenomena like uh, we we see again and again, and we we noticed it here. Okay, and it's it's gonna we start to see it maybe happen maybe right around here. Um, uh, we we this is where we initiated and we kind of broke from this very micro structural range right here. Okay, but um, uh, uh, we get a return back to where we that started. Right, you see this all the time. Okay, here as well, and then here's our retest. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let's read that context of that auction again. Okay, and um, let's let's uh, make this a little more challenging, uh, just for the sake of uh, uh, understanding liquidity better. Okay, let's take off the volume dots here. Right. I mean, this is where we we saw we you know the volume uh, dot at this little uh, moment here in the sweep uh, to the upside is what gave us that that first uh, that first insight here. Uh, and um, uh, uh, let, let's uh, let's just take a look, and we can see how actually the liquidity uh, and the um, uh, shifting and skewing of the auction how it affects price. Okay, understanding that skew of high short-term liquidity uh, and how it plays within longer-term liquidity. All right. Okay. So uh, let's do that. Uh, and uh, uh, you, now we're just looking at historical best bid and offer, and we have our iceberg detector as well. Okay, so um, uh, now uh, if we zoom out a little bit, uh, we can start to uh, understand how liquidity plays uh, within this price act activity. Okay, so longer, longer high term liquidity here. Uh, we trade up into it. Okay, we saw the big transactions that took place here. Uh, and then um, uh, and then they got aggressive on the bid side, okay? And they, they wanted to be buyers at higher areas, okay? And uh, we, we came down and we didn't even, we didn't even get a, a test into these guys, but they started to uh, show more interest as price was coming down, okay? And then we saw a little bit of a skew here, okay? Uh, of higher liquidity uh, at this higher level, but this is very short-term liquidity, okay? Pressing price up into some of these other areas here. Uh, that um, uh, of high liquidity. Okay, now we're we're starting to chop through our uh, our 60 level. We're just about to get there, uh, and we're looking for 66 that liquidity here uh, to to, uh, to be tested. Okay, here's our short term liquidity skewing the book right here. Notice it. Okay. Okay, this is a little battle zone right now, uh, and um, uh, but high high liquidity here now. You combine that with some uh, some of that aggressive buying and those green dots, and you charge price will charge right up into these areas pretty quickly. Okay, but look how this is getting worked here. 
Can you guys, you can guys can see that very, uh, very clearly here. It's very visual. Okay. Very aggressive, high liquidity. Uh, and um, it skews that auction. Uh, some exhaustion here at the moment. Um, I, I'd like to see, let me, I got to turn the volume dots on. I'm uh, just very curious at this little area here. It doesn't look like there was any, any trading at all or very little up here. So uh, it looks like maybe those buyers are starting to exhaust. Uh, they worked it, they're, you know, trying to get price up into that uh, our 66 level. Uh, but um, uh, then we, we start to exhaust out. So what occurs on exhaustion? Well, you get that rotation lower again. Okay, it, market needs to trade, and, it, and it's looking for that liquidity. Okay, uh, these guys start pulling with that aggressive skew. They start pulling, and um, uh, and and price starts to uh, to fall back down. Okay, but now we're where we were in that range previously. Okay, and uh, maybe the buyers start to step back in. Okay, at a lower a lower price here. So let's turn those volume dots back on. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, we see some. Uh, I was I was kind of anticipating a little less, uh, but uh, uh, this little area up here. There, look at the the green dots here. It's nothing like this, right? Okay. But overall, you know, still. Looking, looking pretty good uh, for another, another uh, uh, one more, one more test to the upside here, and uh, hit our 66 level. So, uh, looking at this, what kind of, uh, what are you guys looking for in this area here? above 60 um, and what what is it going to take uh, to come up and in, into uh, our 66 level yeah that's right yeah yeah green dots okay I mean uh, aggressive buying that's what we're looking for right okay and we're and we're getting it Okay, it's pulling up into that area. Okay, now now we're looking for big green dots, right? This this can be a real battle here at 60, uh, 65 here, and there it is, there it is. Okay, buyers taking them on. Okay, and uh, let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit more and see what uh, what unfolded here. Okay, let's zoom in exactly into this area here and see what unfolded. Okay, well, look look how they did. They stayed in the book for most of that time, and you see the aggressive uh, buying uh, into that high liquidity here, right? We know exactly what occurred here, okay? 277 contracts traded here aggressively, okay? Uh, 102, one tick above, okay? Oh, now, okay, so now we're getting our, our the sellers are starting to come in, okay? All right, well, maybe maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see that shift now, okay? Look at this, the retest here, okay? So so this is what is unfolding, right? Uh, now we see, look at, look at the red dots here, okay? So the aggressive sellers are all of a sudden now, they're on the other side here, and, uh, and we had exhaustion here of our buyers, Okay, we hit our 66 level uh, and went above it, uh, but uh, we didn't find any more buyers. Okay, not at, not at this time here. Uh, in fact, we rotate lower and we found sellers, aggressive sellers. Okay, so it, and then here's our retest. Okay, at 66, I'm sorry, at 65. Okay, we don't even hit 66, and we find no no buyers here or very little. Let's see, it was exactly. Uh, 
uh, two contracts traded here. Okay, and that's a that's a big difference. Okay, so uh, uh, let's uh, let's see if the uh, the sellers can gain control here. Uh, let's see if there's more selling uh, and maybe a shift and skew in the book uh, on the offer, and they get aggressive here. Uh, and then we'll come down and uh, and test the liquidity here at uh, at 56. Okay, here they come start to come in at 70. Okay. Okay. Now no, notice that, that this is different than what we saw earlier. Okay. And then we had our retest here and that's, that's uh, uh, looking pretty good too. Right. So lack of, lack of buying on the, on the swing, it didn't even come up to test uh, the high and, uh, and we see two contracts traded here. Okay, so, um, and we had a nice cluster of that uh, sell volume in this area here, okay. Uh, we start to see them coming in a little more aggressive here at 70 uh, with uh, high liquidity, right. And uh, now, now uh, you can, uh, we can start to look for um, uh, some uh, aggressive selling uh, to test this 56 level here. And let's see if we get that. Right now we're getting the opposite. Okay, they're getting aggressive here at 60. And we're starting to see buyers start to step in again. Okay. So that kind of nullifies that idea at the moment. Okay, we're looking for that a, a clear shift in the order flow. If we saw this was more selling here, uh, then it would look good. And uh, we did not get that. All right. And here's our retest of a high back to 66. Okay. Let's take a look at that area here. Uh, again, exhaustion here on the buy side. So uh, I think we're going to come back down and test 60, right? Okay, here come the sellers. Oh, buyers jump in. Okay. It looks like more buying pressure back in. Okay, skewing the book there. Okay, more buying. Okay, so uh, if they're supporting price here at 65, and let's see. This will be the key here at 65. Okay. Let's see who, who's successful in winning this auction here for 65. Okay, I'm still seeing, I mean, the, the, the transaction still occurred up here. Okay. Uh, and, uh, that is different than it was up here before. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Well, as you can see, this uh, you know we we need to you know uh, time is an element uh, to wait and uh, watch uh, and uh, wait for uh, uh, something that gives us that kind of clarity that we're looking for. Uh, and um, uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up here. But uh, what I want to cover though. Uh, is that, uh, you know, we're doing this in real time to demonstrate, uh, you know, uh, how to start to uh, understand some of these areas and ebbs and flows uh, and changes uh, in the uh, limit order book uh, and the uh, and the transaction and the tape, okay, and, and put these pieces together uh, and, uh, uh, you know, how to start to read this and put that context together, okay, because we saw some nice moves to our advantage, Right, and it takes some time. Okay, so there's Bookmap offers a replay mode, uh, and uh, let me show you where you can find out more about that. Uh, that is going to be here. Let's go to the home page, uh, YouTube, and then go to features and components here. Let's click on the, the link here to the playlist. Okay, and then scroll down. And where is it? Uh, replay mode. There's two videos here to watch for uh, replay data mode, and uh, watch both of them. Uh, they're you know one is uh, what seven or eight minutes, and the other one's four minutes. So um, the it, it'll show you how to use this feature, uh, and then it'll show you the practical uses in the in the uh, practical practical uses video. So uh, instead of waiting and watching. Uh, for this to unfold in real time, uh, you can learn so much quicker by using that replay mode because you can speed up the market. Uh, so therefore, uh, you can look at many instances of that order flow unfolding and uh, and you can digest it and uh, put those pieces together much quicker. Okay, think of that analogy of the um, uh, uh, these poker players uh, winning World Series of Poker and uh, they're in their... Um, mid 20s uh, taking on experts who have been trading or uh, playing poker for decades and they're beating them and they have just as much experience because they have played just as many hands uh, virtually uh, using um, uh, you know technology uh, instead of uh, actual card playing right so uh, it allows them to um, get all that experience very quickly and that's what that replay mode can do for you okay that's how i uh, uh learned bookmap and started to uh uh you know piece uh a lot of these things together what to look for the different scenarios that might start to unfold by reading the liquidity reading the context of the liquidity okay and the auction and um uh, then also reading the transactions and the type of transactions that are occurring Okay, and um, and then just waiting for that one thing to unfold that you know uh, that you're looking for. Okay, just like we were over here, right? Uh, and uh, and we were looking for something uh, uh, to to unfold, and uh, and it did. Okay, so um, uh, anyway, uh, I hope that helps you guys. Uh, yes, uh, Bookmap uh, works for Ninja uh, Trader Eight. Uh, as well as seven, Tom. Okay, and uh, you'll get that 14-day trial period, okay, free. So uh, try it out, see if you like it. Uh, if you guys do try it out, uh, I would uh, recommend going for the Bookmap Advanced. Okay, because uh, with the Bookmap Advanced, you can uh, you get all the uh, add-on features and the ability to trade from the chart, uh, and um, uh, you know, try it out. Uh, you know, you get that trial period. So try it, try the book map advanced. Uh, and then, um, uh, you know, if you, um, if there's a lot of those, uh, uh, advanced features that you don't like, well, then you can get the book map basic. Okay. So you have that flexibility. Uh, but, um, uh, anyway, uh, it's up to you. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you start to, uh, integrate this into your, your trading, uh, by uh, just the process that we're, we're going through of understanding the auction and understanding the transactions, uh, then uh, looking at your higher time frames, uh, you know, and the way that you trade, I think you're going to see a lot more uh, transparency into these markets.
Okay. Uh, I mean, there's all sorts of just nuances here that we saw that uh, would be very, very difficult to see uh, in um, uh, in other uh, platforms. Okay. And that really will allow you to to really hone, enhance, and refine and optimize your uh, your, your trading. Okay. Looking for that uh, one or two tick advantage here and there. Uh, Mohammed did well. The um, the oil contract here is September is the one that's trading. In the gold contract, uh, August has the most uh, most volume at the moment. Okay. Just do a quick search for CME volume, uh, and you'll see volume for uh, CL or GC. Right, and you'll you'll see what contract you should be on. All right, guys. We'll um, uh, follow up here. Okay, we are getting that breakout here. Okay, let's see. Uh, more aggressive buying. So so it was back here that we were starting to look for selling. Okay, uh, and then uh, you can see that uh, we started to see more buying starting to occur here, and then just just in this area here. Uh, and then now here, uh, now we're getting that skew in the book and we're looking for big green dots here, right? Uh, and, um, uh, you know, if you're bullish, uh, then you're not going to get another chance. Um, uh, you know, we might get another rotation here, but, uh, uh, you know, when they uh, initiate and, uh, and buy, they sweep the book, okay? Uh, and, uh, you know, you're not, you're not going to get a pullback until, uh, until later. Right. So it's up to you like how aggressive you want to be. You can you can trade the breakout um, or uh, I mean, you will get a pullback to where it broke from. Uh, it just uh, uh, or you might not, though. OK, so uh, that's the that's up, up to your your trading style. Right. OK, let's see, Mohammed. Um, what you meant was. Oh, uh, how, okay. How long the subscription uh, uh, lasts? Well, you get it for, um, um, yeah, for, for three months. So if you uh, started today, um, you, you know, you, you would get it until October uh, uh, 26. Uh, how many markets can you cover? Well, that that's actually, it's a good question. Uh, is broker specific? Um, if you are um, uh, trading with, um, Oh, I don't know, CQG uh, and your broker. I, I think, I mean, we basically allow unlimited uh, symbols, okay? But the broker won't, so or your data provider. So uh, check with them. Some uh, allow five. Some allow up to like you know unlimited or fifteen or or ten or something like that. Okay. Uh, I know that DX feed, for example, uh, that uh, that we we um, you know uh, partner with here. They offer ten for for stocks. Okay. All right, guys. Let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day. Uh, no more questions here, and uh, let's uh, uh, catch up tomorrow. Okay. Have a good day.